today I'm going to show you a game called It's Your Choice. Um, it's Your Choice was created by Susan Garrett of Say Yes Dog Training in Canada. It's a self-control game which teaches your dog how to use their self-control around things that they might want. So it may be food, it could be toys, it can be doorways, uh, other resources. So today I'm going to show you the first basic step of using food in It's Your Choice. So I always recommend starting with food and then going on to other things such as toys and doorways for doorway manners. But it's all part of the It's Your Choice under the same umbrella that Susan Garrett created. So it's about teaching the owner to uh, control the resource and not control the dog. So rather than telling the dog to leave it or asking them to sit or to stay or wait um, or trying to hold them back in any way, you control the resource instead of the dog. So the resource in this case is the food and I've got a pot of food here. So I've just chopped up some cocktail sausages into 20 pieces per cocktail sausage. So we're quite stingy with treats. There's no reason to use big chunks of food when you're training in the house. There's not much distraction going on. So you can use your dog's dry food for this even if you want to, if they like it enough. Um, I also have a cup here, which I'm gonna show you in a minute of how to, how to use the cup if you need to. Ideally, I'd rather you're using your hand for this game, but some dogs are a little bit enthusiastic. So if you happen to have a really greedy, persistent dog or a Labrador, then uh, you may want to use a cup for the first few uh, repetitions of this. So Bosun does know this game. Um, he just looks like this. He does know it's your choice. So after one or two repetitions of reminding him, he's gonna know exactly what I'm doing. So I'm gonna talk you through it. Um, as though he doesn't know as well, so that you can see him doing it how he should be, but also so that you can understand how to get the same response from your dog. Because your dog, if they've never done this before, are going to be really, really persistent and are going to try and get this food from you. So what you do is you put a couple of pieces of food in your hand, um, so in the palm of your hand, and you're going to offer it to the dog at nose height for the dog. So when they're stood or sat or laying down in front of you, the food is going to be offered at nose height. When they try to get the food, you're not going to say anything and you're not going to move your arm away. You're just going to cover. So you just close your hand around the food and you cover the food up. So as soon as the dog backs away or is polite in any way whatsoever, you're going to reopen your hand and then quickly close it again. Because as soon as you reopen it, they're going to dive back on the hand again. Now, whilst your hand is closed around the food, your dog might be sniffing at it, they might be trying to chew your hand, they might be pawing at the hand, they'll try everything that they know of ways to get the food. So all you're looking for is a bit of patience. They don't have to be sitting or laying down or doing anything for any length of time. All they have to do is to be acknowledging there's food in this hand, but not trying to get it. So even a brief hesitation, I would reopen my hand. So the reopening of the hand is rewarding the behaviour you're seeing. So if the dog is uh, being patient, you're rewarding it by saying, I'll give you another opportunity to try again. If they come back to dive on it again, which they probably will in the early stages, you cover again. So again, you're not moving your arm away. You're not saying anything. You're just going to open and shut, open and shut. So if uh, when the dog is patient and the food is then uh, the hand is open and the food is visible to the dog, so your hand is like this and the dog can see it, if they're patient, you're going to pick a piece up and give it to them. Now, it's really important that you pick it up and give it to them, that you do not say, okay, you can have it. We want them to realise that unless it's given to you, it is not yours. So you need to be patient until things are given. Now, like I said, you don't have to say anything for this. You can say yes or good boy at when you reward them if you want to, but it's not needed, you don't have to do that. So all you're looking for is patience here. So I'll show you with both them. I'll show you the stage in the hand and how to do it with the mug if your dog is very enthusiastic. And then I will show you um, a bit more advanced of it on the floor as well, uh, so you can progress it. And then I'll do another video for actually building it onto real life situations with food and how we use it in other games too. So if I just wake the dog up, I know we say you shouldn't wake dogs up, but I need him for training, so unfortunately he's got to participate. So you can also use your tub of food, as you can see, I've got food in here, and both of them will be quite patient. But you can just cover it if they go to get go to get in the food, and then you get the patience. So like I said, Bosun does know this. 
I'm just going to reward him for being patient there. But I'm going to show you it as though he doesn't know it. So I'm going to have a couple of pieces in my hand. I'll put my tub out the way. I'm going to offer it at nose height for him. So it's low down here. Now my fist is covered because he's sniffing and he's trying. As soon as he backs away, I'll reopen. Now because he understands this, he'll be waiting for me to give it to him like this. Your dog will not do this. Your dog is going to be licking and chewing at your hand and they're going to be pouring at it and then they're going to be trying everything that they know in order to try and get this food from you. So you have to do the cover. So they go to go near it, you cover. You need to be very, very fast because dogs are very, very quick. And if they think they can get it faster than you can cover it, they will. So the reason why Bosun is very patient with this is because he's done a lot of this. So this is what it becomes. You end up with a dog who's very patient around food. Even when it's right underneath their nose, they are so patient and wait to be given it. That is what you're looking for. I'm just going to show you again. I have a couple of pieces in my hand. I'm just going to offer it to him. He goes to get it, so I'll cover it. So they may do their tricks that they know. So Bosun knows bow, but that's fine. I'll give it to him because he's being patient. So it doesn't matter that he's in a trick stance doing his bow, his bum's up. He's actually being patient around the food, so I'll still let him have it. I will still pass the treat to him. So anything other than trying to get the food is what you're going to reward. So again, you cover, you cover, and then when they're patient, oh, he tried to help me then, did you see? So I went to pick it up to give it to him and he tried to lean in to help me, so I just covered it again. If, they, if your dog does that, if on your way to giving them a treat, they try to help you, just put it back in your hand and cover it again. Good boy, I know that's a very good position. So I'll go and show you how to do it on the floor now and how to do it with the mug if your dog is a bit enthusiastic. So it's important that you don't ask your dog to sit or to lie down or anything like that whilst you're doing this. You want to take whatever position they're giving you because when you're working with self-control, the chances are your dog is not going to be sitting at the point you need them to be using their self-control. They're probably going to be on the move, they're going to be walking, they're going to be sniffing or looking for something or food will have dropped and they will be on their way over to it. So you, there's no point doing it in a sit or down position. You want to be doing it in their natural position. So what I'm going to do with my, my treats are here. I'm going to place them on the floor in front of Bosun like this. I'm going to cover with my hand. Oh, can you see that? Now I might just do it a bit further forward. Just wait for a bit of patience here and then I'll do one further forward. So you cover with your hand and any time he backs away or is patient, I will remove my hand. So I'm waiting for him to show a bit better than this. At the moment, his nose is on my hand. He's not hurting, but he's just twitching like this. So I'm just going to wait for a little bit better than that, really. I'll see if we can get a little bit better than that. Very patient with John. Remember, after each treat that you pick up and give it to them, you've got to cover again, because as soon as you've given them one, they're probably going to dive on top of it. Let me see where you can see. I'll shut the manual door in front of me so you can see properly. Don't want to throw one away. Don't get it. I'm going to place them here in front of me so you can see. So the treats are here. I've put them down. And I'm going to wait for him to come back over and I'm just going to cover. So you can cover with separate fingers or with your hand completely over it, depending on your dog and how persistent they're going to be. We see he's being patient here, so I'll pick one up and give it to him, but get ready to cover again. It's all about the covering. So they learn if there's food around that the way to get this is to be patient and to wait to be given it. If you just come flying in, it's going to disappear and you're not going to get it. So follow it down with your hand when you place it down and just wait for a bit of patience. Now you can, if you want to, wait for them to do a sit or a lay down, but in the early stages, I don't recommend you do that. I think you should do that a bit later on. Now I could do that with Bo because he knows this game, but it's hard floor. He's 14. His joints are a bit stiff. I don't really need him to sit or lay down, so I'm not going to ask him to or wait for that. I'm just going to reward patience. Yes, he is staring at it, but it's there and he's not, you know, he's not trying to get at it. He's just waiting for it to be given so he can have them. So do what your dog can do. Don't expect too much from them. They have a two to four minute attention span at best sometimes. So you need to 
use it uh, wisely. Don't overdo something, don't overkill something because they get frustrated. You will reward quite quickly so they don't get frustrated and they don't become a barter for food. Some dogs will start whining and fidgeting. You want to reward them before that point, before the point where they start getting impatient. So I'm going to show you with the cup now. This is what you do if your dog is too scratchy, too bitey and it's hurting your hand. So, just on that. You place it down and you cover with a mug instead. So you use your mug up and down to cover. Try not to slam it off the ground. Try and do it on carpet if you can. So you just tilt the cup back in order to show it and then cover it with the cup. So that protects your hand a little bit. And then you can pick one up and give it to the dog. So if they go near it, you just cover with the cup. So mugs are quite handy for that, for saving your hand. You can use a plastic one. It doesn't matter what item you're using. You're only gonna be using this short term until the dog understands the theory of if there's food there, don't touch it and then you can start doing it in the hand again. Um, some dogs are just a little bit bite and chew and scratch happy and it hurts a bit. If you are getting like pouring and scratching, a bit of it's fine, you can just tilt your hand off and then carry on as you were. Um, but if you're getting real chomping, real scratching, then I suggest you use a mug for a couple of repetitions until they understand what to do. Um, so likewise with this tub, so this is full of treats. So you can just cover it and then this is how we start working with dogs. So when we're doing training with them, and we're teaching them other things, we have the food around because you need to have food quite often, either in a bum bag or a pocket or something like that. You need it to be easily accessible so that you can teach different training things um, and different uh, care behaviours. So because you need the food to be there, it's very, very beneficial to teach your dog that unless it's given to you, it's not yours. So you don't have to say anything to them as I'm not the bosun, I'm not saying a word to him. I'm just rewarding him when he's patient. So he's learning, if he stands here and is patient, he will get it. He doesn't have to try and help himself because that means it will disappear. So this is It's Your Choice by Susan Garrett. And I will share another video shortly about doorway manners and about uh, how to use it with resources as well. So as you can see, he's just laid down now. So he did a bit of a stretch and he's laid down. He's chosen to lay down, I didn't ask him to, but I'm really pleased that he's being patient and showing manners. So that's good. So I reward him for that. Good night.